What if I told you that the world we know today might look completely different by the end of this century? The forests, the oceans, the cities, everything is changing, and not necessarily for the better. The culprit behind it all is global warming. But how did we get here? And more importantly, how do we fix it? Let's take a step back. Imagine it's the year 1800. The Industrial Revolution is in full swing. Factories are popping up everywhere, burning coal, producing goods, and pumping out something invisible yet deadly, carbon dioxide. Back then, no one thought twice about it. The earth was vast, resources seemed endless, and the idea that humans could actually alter the climate? Unthinkable. Fast forward to today. We're living in the aftermath of that industrial boom. The planet's temperature has already risen by 1.1 degrees Celsius since pre-industrial times. Doesn't sound like much? Consider this. Even a slight change in global temperature has led to more intense heat waves, rising sea levels, melting ice caps, and devastating wildfires. Think of the extreme floods in Pakistan last year, or the unprecedented heat waves across Europe. This is global warming in action. And while we often focus on what individuals can do, drive less, use renewable energy, eat sustainably. There's a bigger player in this game, big corporations. Did you know that just 100 companies are responsible for over 70% of global greenhouse gas emissions? These companies produce the goods we consume every day. But here's the catch. If we stop buying, they'll have to stop producing. Think about it. Businesses only thrive when there's demand. If we shift our purchasing habits, we send a loud and clear message. We want sustainable, eco-friendly products. When more people choose reusable items over single-use plastics, buy clothing from ethical brands, or eat plant-based meals instead of meat, companies notice. And when their profits take a hit, they're forced to adapt. But it doesn't end there. We can also demand accountability from these corporations, support policies that require transparency about their emissions, Advocate for regulations like carbon taxes, which make polluting expensive and push businesses toward greener practices. And amplify your voice. Join movements, sign petitions, and support organizations that hold corporations accountable. Imagine a world where big companies stop mass-producing harmful products simply because no one's buying them anymore. It sounds powerful, doesn't it? And the truth is, this has already started to happen. Look at the rise of renewable energy, the shift to electric cars, and the growing trend of sustainable fashion. Change is possible, and it starts with the choices we make every day. But here's the challenge. Are we willing to change our habits to force these corporations to change theirs? Every purchase you make is a vote for the kind of world you want to live in. The power lies in your hands and in your wallet. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Let's work together to protect our planet.